What's up, y'all? Welcome to Opera Anna. My name is Anna. I am an opera singer, and I am here to opera up your life. So you can probably tell I'm not in my office, and that's because I am in Maine for the Atlantic Music Festival, and in these two weeks, we are going to be putting on a production of Mozart's Così Fun Tutte. I will be singing Dorabella. I am so excited. I can't wait to get started. We have officially eight days to get this opera up and running, which means it's going to be very intense. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of hard work, but Dorabella is a very, very, very popular role, so it's going to stay with me forever, and I can't wait. But before we get into all that, we have coachings, we have lessons, we have musical run-throughs, blocking rehearsals, costume fiascos, mental breakdowns, and we're gonna get into all of it. Are you ready? Let's go, you guys. <laughs> we just can't go in that way. <laughs> Was that you practicing before with those like high Fs? Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> sing through, musical run through, let's go. Okay, Desvina, are you ready for the sing through? Yeah, no, yeah. No. <laughs> oh my god. It's really so hot in here. How'd it go, Austin? No. 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 Well, I don't really know what we're gonna do. You guys sounded great. How'd it go? That was so amazing. good. How did you... I'm not here. <laughs> I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> Ready? Uh... Our principal cast is just... I love them. I love them and I've known them for four days. Well, you think only Dutch people watch this? <laughs> oh my god, it hurts. <laughs> yeah. That's chemical. Yeah. That's not good for you. Oh boy. Wow. Oh wow. <laughs> oh wow. I feel <laughs> This is my face. Hello face. Hang possessive of action. We finally got through staging all of the opera last night. We finished at 10.50 p.m. We started at 7. What? What? That was only act two. What? So that was a lot. And we're expected to be off book today, which I think will be fine. We have seven full days to run this musically with a cast of, with three different casts. Some people are singing all of it. My role is triple cast, so I only have to do it once. So we have to get through it musically, and that's one per day. So that's three days. And then we were blocking it, starting to stage it, it on the first day as well. But that took us until yesterday. Now we're getting it memorized. Now we're getting it in the body, and it's just, it's a monster of an opera. It will bring you to your knees if you don't know it. And there are a lot of cuts. We put in a lot of cuts. A lot. A lot. It's usually a four hour opera. We're down to like two hours and 15 minutes. So. Yes. Pray for me, y'all. Pray for us. Really. Pray for us. That's opera. For a lot of us, this festival was our first venture back into the performing world since COVID hit and locked all of us inside for the foreseeable future. I couldn't believe how lucky I was to be offered a role like Dorabella as a fellow, but like all things, expectations had to be managed during the festival. Even though we were allowed to be on stage, we were still severely limited by COVID safety precautions, which meant that we couldn't have a live audience and were only allowed to be in Maine for two weeks instead of the originally intended six. If you're thinking that two weeks isn't a lot to put on an opera, you'd be right. It was both a blessing and a curse to experience the rapid fire learning that needs to be implemented in order to get an opera in such a short time. When I say they were mental breakdowns, 
I mean that quite literally. Late night Taco Bell runs and hanging out until 1 a.m. you'd think would make everything more difficult, but actually managed to keep our sanity intact. Just don't ask how we coached at 10 a.m. the next day. Before I got to Maine, I explored Dorabella in costume, language, and action while trying to sift my way through the staging directions given to us, which we needed to know as well as possible before getting to the festival. The most logical thing seemed to be to create my own stage. So that's what I did in my dad's garage. Yes, it was Houston in the summer. I'm not saying it was a great idea, but it helped me. I thrifted for Dorabella's costume, helped immensely by Houston's thriving vintage thrifting scene, tried out my 60s slang, and did my best to learn the staging. I don't know. <laughs> what? Here, do a little spin. Because <laughs> you're supposed to wear like jeans underneath, right? I think you're supposed to wear nothing. How much is that one? Oh, that one is really nice. Like built through like really like in your face. And it's... Yeah, cutie. All right, thrifting over. I found one thing and like, I think this is super age of Aquarius. What do y'all think? I don't know. Hippie. Hippie. Hey, you can spot. We'll have to figure out what the director wants, so we'll be coming back tomorrow. Or I'll be coming back tomorrow. I don't know if you're coming <laughs> with me. Probably not. <laughs> I am in Maine at Colby College. Gosh, it's so There's great. the shot. There's the shot with the fishery there. And sponsored by, by White Claw. Claw. But if you Google my middle name, you'll just get my yeah. yeah. things were made. But it's so good. Diana, why don't you punch the ball? That's the punch. What planet are you on? Hi. No, notice I'm putting on this face because I can't take a genuine compliment. Michael, thank you. <laughs> the people I met at the Atlantic Music Festival will live in my heart forever, even if I don't see them for a very long time. I wish I could explain the feeling of companionship and family that is created during a production, something about having to bear your soul from day one and get excessively close for different scenes makes all the BS disappear really quickly. Dealing with the frustrations and hardships of the process gave us infinite conversation material, even when we were too tired to hold a normal conversation in the first place. Hi, I'm Lorna Kabaska. Tom Valley Hoag. I'm Josh Martin, I'm a tenor. My name is Kylie <laughs> Tor. I'm so <laughs> casual on camera. Steaming, because this is my second Fiorilegi in 20 hours. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing Guglielmo. I sing Ferrando. I like how much fun you get to have playing Guillermo, especially in Act 1, uh -huh. before things get pretty dark. It's our free day today after six days of working from 10 to 10. We already were, we're running resets in the car. We have to, what else are we gonna do? Y'all, that's, that's like so that's lovely. That's <laughs> and then you're it's gonna- Oh, awesome. well, I didn't shake, I just drizzled. <laughs> Ginato. 
still have time. I'm in stress. I'm a stress ball. Even when, if it's 45 minutes around. When I stop stressing out about Dora Bella, I start stressing out about this concert. And that's just what my life is. <laughs> He's going for it. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Live your best life, Tom. It's going to be so cold. She did like she? such a high squeak at the end. It was an A plus six. I did, Can I, I help you? <laughs> I did an A plus six in one of my auditions. C'è semplicità a uh, quanto mi piace. Are you seeing this right now? Are you actually seeing this? It's so good. I don't think I'm going to the back. Let me go. Oh, look at that. Guys, we are all done here at the Atlantic Music Festival. We closed our show because we felt tutte today. I had so much fun singing Dora Bella and she's gonna live with me forever. Cozy is such a popular opera. I am so psyched to do it again already. We only have one party left to go and that is of course the cast party and I probably won't be filming that because that's great. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed getting this behind the scenes look at what opera singers do at a festival, how we prepare a show and how we get through it. I will see you next time to offer up your life here on Opera Anna. I love you. Adio. <laughs> Beautiful. Wow. She's great. Oh. It's checkout day. Everyone's packing and returning their key cards and all these things. And it's making me really sad. So I may or may not be filming it. I'm just going to stand here with my coffee. And, um,. Suppress my feelings. That's what I'm gonna do. That's my plan because it's been two weeks, but it's been such an intense two weeks that I'm like, these people are, my cast just became so, so dear to me. And this happens every single time at a program, and I don't know why it surprises me, but it does. It surprises me every single time that they become like your best friends in the span of two weeks and you have friends for life. <laughs> but when you have to leave, it's the literal worst. It's the literal worst. Hey, I want to let you know, so, uh, I'm all AMF is over. AMF 2021. It will live on in this vlog, in the recording, in my brain, as Dorabella, and it will inform everything I do going forward. <sighs> Thanks for joining. <coughs> I hope you enjoyed to opera up your life. Adiós.